So just like misspacing a couple of his uppies, but he's opting to go for the Zero Suit Samus. I don't know how I feel about this pick. Uh, Zero Suit, I don't think one of his stronger characters. I'm surprised he didn't go Robin. I know that's the secondary he pulls at most in bracket. Mm -hmm. I've seen Zero Suit uh, Samus be pulled out against Stockticker before, um, mm. especially against his villager, I think. I see. But by the way, Wow, Stockticker getting the double foil into the up tilt, already racking up 47% after that raw neutral as well. Absolutely. Now, what I love about Stockticker's wolf is it's so much more neutral based than most other wolves. See, like, a lot of them go for, like, the crazy, like, fair out pair combos and, like, great ledge guardy, but uh, Stockticker just all neutral sits there and just picks the perfect time to, yeah. like, press his buttons. Like, the way that he positioned his jump right there, he was like, do it. He's just, he's just yeah. like, testing you. Do he it. Yeah. Down B, out of ledge. Right now, I am ready to back heal you simply on the action. And the way that he positioned himself was just genuinely immaculate to punish that. Yeah, absolutely. And it's all on reaction, so even if he doesn't, he has other options. But great coverage here from ZTN. Uh, a little bit of ledge trapping. Ooh, Jared, just a, the stock taker, just able to get right back in there, though. Uh, trying to reestablish stage control and just put him right back on the ledge. Zogutinan now being back onto stage and Stock Taker is just ready to punish that. Zogutinan has to find a way to mix it up just a little bit. Surprised that he's able to live that immaculate DI though. The back through off the stage. We asserted stage control for himself and that neutral was just a little bit too low. I'm not sure what he got hit by. Uh, back air. He, back just, air. he just did another jump and on reaction to the down beat back air to him again. Uh, Stock Taker just beautifully covering all of ZTN's options here. Yep. That up B is not going to take it. Wolf definitely a thick boy. Able to take uh, take a lot. And right now, Stock Taker Lee trying to get some to the falling neutral A, but Zero Tunnel ready with the parry punish up B out of shield. Stock Taker was ready to commit something like that because he had the stock lead. Um, you might see him playing back a little bit more if he doesn't want to take any additional percent, obviously. Um, getting, ah, missing the tech chase with the dash attack. I think he might have. I think he did mistime his dash back because I don't think he meant to buffer the second dash attack. Great Nair coming in here. Beautiful edge guards comes down to Nair him, and that, that's a dead CSS. Yeah. Great edge guard from Stock Hicker 69 cleaning up game one. So, something about Zero Tanan right now. Zero Tanan almost every single time off the ledge, use down B. Now, down B is a great option. It's a, oh, it's an amazing option, a beautiful get out of jail free card. But if it's all you press, then everybody knows. Yep. If you're digging the same tunnel out of your prison cell, like <laughs> they're gonna just go to the same tunnel that you dug up, you know? Of course. It's gonna go to the other end of it. Doesn't matter if it's a tunnel out of the prison cell. You have to mix up the ways to get out of jail, guys. <laughs> um, God, I love analogies. I'm sorry. Analogies. Um, <laughs> um, game two. Hmm. Zero right back to Zelda. He's definitely not feeling the out of latch option. Yeah, to I, to, uh, oh. with, but with zero <laughs> zero to seven. Seven. Too many zeros here. Mm -hmm. The dash attack lead, just like the dash back out of shield. Um, right now, Zero is trying to get something started with the grab. Definitely, I believe, maybe a down through a lightning kick, which just deals so much damage. Absolutely. But immaculate spacing here coming in from Stock Taker. Just definitely knows his options playing against ZTN so often. Wow. wow. Jab stuffing the F tilt he's trying to do after the parry. And I was really, really unfortunate that he wasn't able to get a punish there, considering that, like, okay, he was just, like, waiting for himself to get knocked back. But, guys, of course, after 11 hits, you do gain an extra frame of, I believe, intangibility on your roll. Uh, yes, you are able to just roll out after 11 hits. Great cover from the down smash. Yeah. I love the use of his laser, though, because it effectively not only just, like, stopped out the down smash, but I think he was looking for a stuff out on the phantom, because that is usually the position where Zero to not goes for phantom. And that neutral B will effectively prevent it, but Zero with a beautifully split, uh, beautifully spaced lightning kick, ready to take out the stock, um, and effectively just like even after the deficit, just brought it all the way back. Absolutely, but there's uh, great ledge traffic coming in here from uh, Stock Taker 69. Mm -hmm. He's just doing, he was doing a very great job of keeping him at the ledge, and right there, punish is just a bad option of yep. dashing into him with up smash. Right now, Zero is trying to catch a landing, getting the up tilt into the reverse up tilt, down tilt into the sour spot of lightning kick. Of course, Stock Taker. Because DI was immaculate on that, making sure he wasn't taking any 20 something percent from the Yeah, he, area. he's definitely been hit by that one too many times and definitely knows the gimmick right now. Um, right now, Zerutsan just running up and grabbing him, throwing him off stage. Zerutsan has all of the stage control that he could possibly want, but they have now reset it back to neutral. Stock Taker effectively forward area, speeding up Zerutsan as well. Yeah, Stock Taker definitely able to fight his way out of the corner almost every time, but not that time. ZTN, very intelligent up smash, taking, covering the uh, neutral get up there. Um, and I think that that was pretty reactable on Stock Taker's part. I just feel like he 
he might have. I think he buffed the neutral getup. Yeah. After the upbeat. I think he just committed to the neutral getup, and he, there's ZTN new, or he was trying to cover like maybe jump from ledge. But ooh, amazing down air. Did he just get a lightning kick? And then chase him off stage and get a down air. Yeah, you definitely up a stock in a matter of like I don't know eight seconds. Yeah, basically, um, immaculate chase. He had to know. But the one thing I don't like from ZTN is I feel he throws away game one, game one on secondaries too many times, and I I've seen it come back to bite him because he essentially starts uh, a game down and he loses like priority on like stage uh, stage yep. pick advantage and all that, and it's so important in these long sets. Yep. But uh, going into game three, I believe it is 1-1 one, one for both of these players. Yeah, they're going to opt for Town and City. They're just going across the board with all of these different <laughs> stages. It's very interesting to me that Stock is sticking with Wolf. He has such a wide variety of uh, characters he plays. I know he told me uh, he was not feeling the Palu today, mm -hmm. but uh, he told me the Wolf and the Villager were feeling pretty good. Yep. Uh, the Wii Fit always in the back pocket. Scary character. And I don't think we fit as the ideal matchup choice here because Zelda has one of the best get up, uh, like get off me reflected options in the game. Absolutely. That'll just like, that. honestly, I don't believe we fit can do much with. But uh, Wolf is able to like abuse his disjoint and amazing play data, getting scooped up by the Phantom. Um, so it's not, not able to punish the side he back on some left. Tried, I believe he tried to punt it. Uh, he covered, with that jump there, he covered uh, jump from ledge, get up attack, neutral get up. But uh, ZTN very intelligently picking roll from ledge there. Mm -hmm. What? I have that was a little bit. That was strange. I'm not entirely sure what happened in that exchange right now. Zeroton is able to effectively get back down using the neutral air dodge. Neutral air dodge and ultimate is so, so big. But the up smash, cleaning up the stock, putting Zeroton in advantage here. Yeah, that was great shocking there by ZTN. He's catching him with a decent amount of those up smashes. I feel like he's been doing it all tournaments. But speaking, speaking of, of great up smashes, smashes yeah, yeah. Great stuff coming in from Stock Taker. Mm -hmm. Able to keep this game as tight as possible. And that was an interesting commitment to the up air from Zeroton. Maybe he was trying to lead a jump in from uh, Stock Taker, but of course he's going to get punished yeah. for quite a bit. Getting the down throw into Lightning Kick. And I do believe Stock Taker is actually DI'ing in because he just wanted to be as close to the edge of the stage as possible. He doesn't He doesn't want to DI out. He doesn't want to give up stage control when he doesn't have to. But as a result, he took so much place for it. Falling back here, cleaning up Zuga to that stock. And it's just crazy how like the stock advantage is like, flip-flopping in the set so far. Yeah, they're definitely both keeping it close, and these two players are definitely very close on par with each other. Um, they play a bunch, so they both definitely understand each other's habits and whatnot. So it's very interesting to see each other adapt to each other uh, so many times. Yep. And right now, Zuga trying to keep like a drop, trying to maybe like punish a drop shield from, from Stock Taker, but Stock Taker ready with the out of shield option. Does it two frame? Um, I believe so. It may be just like the fact that Phantom is like, uh, like I believe that's the fifth hitbox of it that is just able to just swoop on the like so, yeah. so low. The disjoint on it is just probably like ridiculous. Yep. Right, got down throw. Throw it. Oh, lightning kick. He's been catching, he's been catching stock kicker with a lot of those now. Right now, opting for the forward throw into the attack chase, but the back air. Short hop back air. Just nice and simple, huh. cleaning it up. And this is really, really scary for Zeruton right now because all that Stock Seeker needs right now is one more game, and that will pronounce him as the champion mm -hmm. of um, Aeon number 51. Absolutely. And like I said, just throwing away game one, often biting ZTN yep. at the end. Because had that game one never happened, it would have been a 1-1 one -one situation had he played Zelda. Who knows where we would be right now. Um, anyhow, bringing Zelda into potentially his last game of today, or maybe the first of many more to come. Um, opting to go right back to Town City. Again, I feel like the stage like benefits both of these plays really, really yeah. well. Small ledges stage. definitely help both of these uh, characters. Uh, Zelda able to kill with lightning kicks very quickly, and uh, Phantom as well. And then Wolf just able to kill very early with almost everything, because yeah. this character can probably kill with any button. Maybe not down tilt. So, Zulitanut's positioning there was beautiful to catching the jump from the platform. His up tilt just like effectively stuffing that out. And right now, Great string coming in from uh, Stock Taker, though. Stuffing uh, Phantom with Dukobi. He's definitely playing the matchup like very intelligently. He's very aware of like Phantom coverage and whatnot. He just doesn't want to overcommit, but he, he definitely knows when to go in 
And I haven't seen him get caught by that uh, up air through the stage that ZTN does often. It's not even just a like about getting it caught. It's just the way that Zotan is forcing you to always play alert. And that is going to be the huge punish though with a down smash. Wow. So gradually not enough to take a fantastic DI from Zotan on the... Um, but okay, well, just going to get a drop down lightning kick. Absolutely rips it, taking uh, stock taker stock. Getting the floor that is not entirely sure about the intentionality behind that. Getting the final hit of the Anto, effectively displacing the Hurricane on. Not getting the early hit of the dash attack, but the Anto will clean it up. Absolutely. The way, uh, the way Stocktaker is just able to string together these, like, very intelligent, uh, like, Ed, like these combos into like pressure strings is just very very incredible uh he's just oh he's normally able to like challenge phantom very effectively and he has like so much knowledge of this matchup now beautiful falling forward there, but right now stock taker oh my goodness he has to be mixing up at the eye so it's not as getting a conversion off of down here almost every single time um I really like the down air actually, because I would have effectively just like prevented him from going up with an up air. It was a really nice preventative measure. Um, I like the thought behind it. Using the dense fire, but unfortunately it was a little bit misplaced to get the position that he wanted. And Stock Ticker was in the perfect position to cover low and back. It not Ooh, great sharking of the jump by uh, ZTN. And like once again, bringing it to an even game gang. Initial hit of dash attack into late hit of dash attack. What a okay. Great string from uh, Stock Taker doing a solid 54 off of Fair Fair Up Air, I believe. Uh, trying to grab out of shield. Not entirely sure what the thinking was behind that because considering how far away uh, Zero Tanan was. Um, regardless, you see Stock Taker just like ready to make sure he's not going to get hit with an up air anytime soon. Positioning his back here beautifully so that it would still be safe on parry. Both of them are just playing dash attacks yeah. at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, this is super scary for Stock Taker. Zoots it on. Oh, oh. And that's going to take it. Yeah, yeah, Wolf's recovery. Definitely not the best. Just a light tap. Very unfortunate. I, he might have still been dead. The up B does not go very far mm. uh, vertically. Yeah. But we're going to be bringing it to game five. And right now, Zoots is going to be looking, obviously, for the black reset. Um, which means you'd have to win another three games after this one if you want any chance of, um, you know, bringing, bringing home the first place chance. And Stocktaker sticking with his guns with this wolf pick. Feels the games are definitely close enough to win, yep. and he can clutch it out here. Mm -hmm. Now, taking him back to Smashville, very interesting. Uh, Town City. Oh, right. Town and City, rather, right, sorry. Yep. Right now, Zeritsanon opting to fade back with the Phantom, which is just such a great commitment option because he fades back, he has his projectile, like, controlling stage for him, and then he's just able to go in and uh, do a little bit of work himself. Yeah, he basically gets, like, safe pressure. Uh, an FADC from Street Fighter will get you know. Getting a down throw into the neutral is really, really solid damage. Both of them are essentially even percent. Uh, good laser. Now we're going to go over the left here. Amazing back air covering. Zootsan uh, was a little bit too impatient to get back onto stage. I'm not sure if that up be... That up be it. Oh, wow. Great recovery. From and apparently, according to player points, uh, uh, Zelda has the longest teleport recovery in the game. I'm just allowing her to snap onto ledge like that. Right now, Zootsan just jumping on top of Soxiker with Nairu, with the Nairu's love. A really criminal option, but definitely something to work out for him. The deflected Phantom coming back to bite Zero to None and take out his own stock. Wow, no lightning take. I'm surprised he didn't go for Arthur there. I believe it would have connected. That was a good immediate release from uh, ZTN. He wasn't able to pull the bullet uh, the entire game. Stock's like a little bit too impatient. He has to be much more careful with the timing of the up smash. So, so deceptive. But great, yeah, great whiff punish from ZTN with the uh, up smash. Very smart neutral uh, Just a great call out on the air dodge back onto stage. Wow. I can't believe that. 
Sneak Kicking on his shield, but uh, Stocktick would not risking any out of shield option, but I do believe that Up Smash might have been actually able to connect it. Wolf notoriously not being, I mean, like not necessarily being a top three for these amazing out of shield options, but still getting hit by the Up Smash. Right now, Zero Tanan is at the stock lead, looking to bring this game to a close with the back and reset. This is so scary for Stock Ticket. He has to find a way to get back on. The aggressive option working out there effectively, invalidating the Phantom. Uh, so gave up all stage control there. This could be the stock right now if he's a little impatient, but Stock Ticket. Great wave of the up smash. Uh, yeah. Able to take the stock. Now, this is a very spot, uh, very bad spot for Stock Ticket to be in because ZTN does not have to go in. He can play very non committal and just nickel and dive yep. until death. And with all of these great ranges on these kill moves, uh, Phantom always threatening the neutral. Just such scary stuff, but Stockticker able to play very patiently and just wait it out. Mm -hmm. He's picking his approaches very well, like that fair, being able to go over the Phantom with that one safe, one unsafe F tilt. Lightning kick right to the face. And that's lightning be a kick out of shield. That move is so menacing, considering the fact that it will kill you from any point on the stage, and it is frame three. Yeah, and I've seen frame it. six, frame six. I totally lied. Frame six. Why did I say frame three? Oh my goodness. And <laughs> really trying to really trying to uh, bring the Zelda meta to a head by just lying. <laughs> 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 um, so. <laughs> <laughs> So, going into game one of the bracket reset on winner's side, you know what, guys? Screw it. I'm gonna bring in some more energy. I was falling asleep a little bit. We have Stock Ticket with the character switch right into Villager. Mm. I definitely saw this coming. I'm surprised we didn't see it uh, during the winner's finals game, but uh, the Villager definitely makes a lot of sense for me uh, in this pick. He's able to definitely make one diamond. Yep. Uh, fair, a lot more solid at bu uh, bullying the Phantom than uh, Wolf Laser. And not just that, but the villager's ability to pocket, but Zero Tanan committing so deep off stage to get the aerial, but something that is so menacing about this matchup is just the fact that villager can pocket uh, Zelda's Phantom and yeah, down throw, four leader into Phantom is a true control map with so many different presets yeah, and will effectively kill you. Yeah, it kills at basically almost any percent. I think like outside of zero, I've seen it kill as early as like 20, 30 maybe. Yep. But right now, you just see Stock Ticker getting hit with those Phantoms just because he's preemptively using his pocket. Now, Pocket Granted is, has an extremely active like, like window to actually grab a projectile, but maybe he's a, he's, he is slightly mistiming it. So that is something he has to be much more wary of. And the tree trying to call out maybe... Wow, that spacing... That spacing was beautiful because he dipped under with PS2, not enough to get pineapple, but not too far out to the left, so he'll get hit with the bowling ball. Wow, and the up air finally catching someone. Great stuff. Like you see, Zilitsun has been doing it all night, and he's gone on punish for it. And why not even do it if you, like, why not keep doing it? Because the one time it works out, it's going to work out brilliantly. It's going to kill, absolutely. Mm. What? <laughs> I love the ball, the, uh, the bounce. Yep. The bowling ball. Definitely one of the most hilarious animations that the game has to offer. Saka Taker trying to get something started with the dash in, but Zero Tsunami I mean, ready with his fantastic get off me options. Committing so far off stage. Yeah, but Villager can definitely go that deep out to yep. try to take any stock. Ooh, great down air. And that's and a 3 oh. Stock Taker, very unhappy about that. Yep. <laughs> huh. Yelling. Well, that was a very, very convincing game one for Zero Tsunami. If I were Stock Ticker, I would not be going with the Villager here. But definitely where Stock Ticker got punished for it most was just the fact that he was going through these pockets and he mistimed them. Nice stock ticker. Switching back to Wolf here after the villager pick definitely did not yep. work out in his favor. Wolf games were definitely much closer, and we got a down throw dash attack here. And right away, like you see, the pace of this game is completely different than it was of the last one. Stock ticker having a very, very confident lead, uh, only taking 13% as opposed to Zilitsan with 63 under his belt. Um, Zilitsan has to find a way to get back onto stage, otherwise, he'll just keep on eating more than 1%. Gonna get whiff punished for Nihilus loving right in Stock Ticker's face, but gonna get away with the second one and dealing a little bit of damage to boot. Unable to punish the Nihilus Love on a shield with the grab. Um, that's something Stock Ticker has to be uh, a little bit more attentive. 
So we have great option coverage coming in here from ZTN, but unable to actually uh, get the ledge trap. And now we have uh, Stockaker's turn to yeah. pick his uh, attempt at keeping ZTN balanced. Wow, really good uh, back here. Yeah. I can't help but suspect that that was perfect. Maybe just it's not you have to show. But absolutely amazing uh, DI from ZTN coming in off of that. Uh, able to live from that back here. Oh, I'm missing the dash. Great Nair, able to uh, stop the fan. And that's something with like moves with like a lot of shields. Like, if you think that he missed time, his grab out of shield, it's not that. It's just that moves that have like a lot of shields, then if you preemptively try to dash, Sometimes the dash won't come out. So it's just like a really difficult to get that out. Zeritsan unfortunately getting the sour spot of his upbeat. And the down throw, unable to complete the tech chase. I feel like if the, the, the missed tech was intentional on the part of Zeritsan, like, like that was really, really brilliant in a way, just because it threw off stock taking his time. Yeah, absolutely. And it definitely turned it into a solid 50 50 because we actually the chase this game is beyond hard. Mm -hmm. And right away, like Stockticker has leap it soon, so that's just gonna run up and up smash him. Yeah. He definitely was sharking a, a nair or mm -hmm. like some sort of jump option. So it's not unable to get anything started with the up tilts, to which he could have converted neutral or possibly another up tilt. Um, Stockticker committing to those four leaders off stage, not punishing the drop as Nyla's love. Really, really great reflector. That was definitely something Zilitan was not ready for with his own reflector. Yeah, I believe the uh, Stockticker has caught him more than once with the uh, reflector on the Phantom. I believe it's killed him twice even. Uh, he's picking his options wow. very well, but that Phantom not actually going to do it. Lightning Kick though, able to take the stock. Just a sour edge. spot of it. Yeah. Yep. It was, it was a, like a gentle shove. It was like, okay, buddy, you, you, you're yeah. not getting back on. Nap time, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Zilitan getting the late hit of the dash attack, setting, uh, just effectively pushing Stock Tickers away. Right now, this is oh, really, really just great choice to land on top of Zilitan and they're effectively neutralizing his Phantom. Stock Tickers slightly misspacing his uh, back here, and Zilitan able to punish it with the dash attack, but... The dash attack setting straight up, and that is 1-1 one, one Stock Tickers on the board. If this goes into a game 10, despite it being 1.15 a.m., I am going to choke the ever living hell out of um, Zero Ten. <laughs> we all have to say that? Huh? Are we all have to say that? Ever living hell? I think. I, well, no, Sage is a huge yeah, he was No, he, was, he, he's just so slumped. He is here. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> yeah, he's like. Sh all right. So we're going into <laughs> game three. <laughs> And I have no clue what stage was picked, but yep. all right. Uh, Wait, Smash Live, yeah, he's there. He's chilling. He's cooling. I didn't even know. <laughs> I just, I see that. I see he's a right arm. Oh, Street Manager is so tired that he's just slumped over in his chair. We're going to do it, and both of them at relatively even percent. Nobody seems to have the advantage right now, but Stock Ticker is setting up the tech chase situation, but so far off the uh, edge of the stage, and he was just able to connect the dash attack. Yeah, both players very evenly matched right now. Yep. Uh, good situation for the Emperor. Uh, Stock Ticker has control of center stage and just able to, uh, was walling uh, ZTN out. But ZTN putting, he's fighting, he's like getting back to center stage considerably well. Yep. Uh, I feel like uh, the game Stock Ticker was winning, he was able to be boxed in. Like, Definitely a lot more, but uh, beautiful back here, just like stuffing out um, Zero Tenon's attempt to like feel out a random micro kick, um, killing it for it. Stock Tickle sitting only at 63%, able to get the down throw. It's wow. a dash attack, then the jab block. Nair. And that's a kill. What an amazing string coming in from Stocktaker. The light Nair jab lock. My son said he has had enough. Yeah. Getting the forwarder into the up tilt, the up throw, I'm missing the forwarder. Oh, oh my, my god. Stocktaker playing absolutely out of his mind right now. He has had enough of this Wi-Fi Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and right now, Zilitan, uh, unable to, once again, he's unable to connect with these two fans and his Oh my smash. goodness! He, he just hit him, he hit him with the melee, superior movement and the kill move. Insane, amazing yeah. game from Stocktaker. He absolutely popped off. Yeah, I don't think Smashville was the stage of choice <laughs> right there. Um, Stocktaker was just all up in Zilitan's face. Zilitan couldn't run away anymore. Yeah. He wasn't able to set up the things that he was trying to set up. And now, after that, Really oh, ridiculous so game. We're gonna be going into game four, four, yes. four of the bracket reset.
And this is going to be so difficult for the yeah. Zero to not come back from this because he needs to win two consecutive games in a go after that extraordinarily yeah. defensive. And Stocktaker coming into this with all of the momentum. He stole that right back from the previous game. The mentality on him, though a little upset, is incredible. Uh, and he was getting the down throw into f tilt. I think he must have put in his dash attack there. Very, very unfortunate. Zero able to get the up tilt neutral out and effectively get attack chase with the dash attack. Now, even if ZTN does win this game, oh, oh my what? goodness, amazing he lightning kick. Did just lightning kick out of disadvantage? Yeah, he just fared out of disadvantage. If it hits, he kills. If not, he doesn't lose much for it. Okay, gamers. That was pretty cool. Stock Taker was able to get an aerial into an up I missed the first aerial was the down throw just to get a little bit of stage control and in Zero Tenant the eye in and hit the stage. That would have been a three catch scenario. Wow, amazing read coming in from Stock Taker. Light Nair at peak was in his skull. He knew that tech in was coming, that tech no. in was coming like three games ago. Zero Tenant, that is a little bit of heaven, but I've noticed from Zero Tenant fighting Stock Taker, he has been teching in at kill percent almost every single time. It's not Tigger has just been ready with a down smash. Um, there we have the neutral B, the get off the control. I mean, wow. Reads the up B. ZTN, yep. he does that so scarcely. I'm surprised Sock Ticker was so ready for it. Yep. I, I guess just the reaction is incredible. And the dash attack almost surprisingly killing the uh, Sock Ticker. Finally, two frames of down smash. I think that's the first one I've seen them hit this yep. bracket. Um, the down throw down into the lightning kick already deal like 36%. Playing, uh, Stock Taker definitely playing a very winnable game of catch up here. Yep. But every ZTN able to just nickel and dime him so well. Uh, Zelda does it so efficiently. But that F Smash sealing it right up. And we have a pretty even game here. If uh, Stock Taker is just able to go in. Stock is able to get one down kill. Who knows how quickly that will spell the end of the game. But I think that was so. That was a little bit too close for complete there. Um, so it's an optic to just fade back and fan of instead of perpetuating the ledge traps in area. Um, right now, this is really, really dangerous stuff. I definitely respect the patient, safe play from ZTN. Ooh. I like it down there a lot. I do like it too. It just sort of mentioned that to say, hey, you're not catching my jumps today, buddy. Wow. Oh my goodness. That was a little too risky for my company, but the F smash. The F smash will we'll take it. Come across the stage. Is this, um, game nine? No. Is it, uh, <laughs> this is game 10. This is game 10. It's 1.20 a.m. here in the state of New York. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Our stream tech, so happy to be here at Aeon Gaming Grand Finals Game 10. I am seriously at my limit. Oh, we're going to, we're going to, I think, Unova? Unova? Yeah, it makes sense. Um, it's a very good stage for Stock Ticker because it's an uncanny recovery super low. Or else he's going to get bounced up by the lip of the stage as characters with teleport recoveries all suffer on the stage. This definitely, uh, this definitely makes sense as a stage pick. It's very similar uh, size-wise to Smashville, but the lip definitely makes it a lot harder for ZTN to yep. uh, shark uh, Stock Digger. Uh, Stock Digger unable to get anything off of the falling forward. But right now, setting up a tech chase situation with the downfield, unable to get anything off of the back attack. Once again, beautiful up tilt. Just like stuffing out the Nairi's love on a platform in the back, you're almost taking it. That back air hit probably at the most top of the hitbox. It looked like it didn't connect. Yep. But great, amazing facing from Stock Digger. Right wow. now. I really like the air dodge back there. The main back so he can have to. And I'm really up. surprised that exchange just happened. Zulatanan was somehow able to get hit by the laser, but the Phantom still came out. But Stock Taker sitting at a humongous lead right now, 38%, a stock up. Zulatanan has to pull something a little quick. That was interesting. He did a jab one into a lightning kick. Not entirely sure wow. what the intention was. He tried to go for the uh, lightning air reset again. Yep, but only I there. think he got the strong hit of it. Yeah. Which still was not a bad situation to be in because it's just off stage game and let trap. What I also think is really, really admirable about Stock Taker is that every single attempt that Zeritsunan had to use the Inspire offstage, Zeritsunan getting punished for up being back under the platform, and Game 10, like Stock Taker, has brought all of that momentum right to Zeritsunan's speed. That's going to be. Air? Okay. I believe Upsmash would have killed there, no? I do oh. believe so, but there we go. Smash is going to kill there yeah, regardless. Yeah. Zeritsunan starting to bring it back a little bit. 
Off kick to Ailey Dodge back onto the platform, but Stock Taker was definitely in a position to be able to punish that. The percentages are piling up. The laser effectively just neutralizing any attempt to land low. The momentum is definitely coming in here from Stock Taker. He's able to just bully him in neutral so much now. He's catching so many of his landings and just CTN is just not able to get off the ledge it feels. Oh He's either goodness. in the sky or on the ledge and there is no in between. He just can't get down. And oh the final up tilt taking Game 10 Grand Finals through Zero. the reset. Zero to none was so desperate to get back onto stage. He didn't even consider drifting back.